So today they are taking a multivitamin water. So you just have to put water inside their their watering bowl. Then this is the filling pot. This is 100 gram of feed in the morning. Then you later give them another 100 gram. You can see it. <laughs> This one can eat for Africa. All my life is habits. Most people come into arbitrary because they want to make more money. Then this one is Agoti. She's pregnant already. So I mix 30 ml of this to 25 liters water. This is the nesting box and you see how they prepare the nest. So this one delivered three days ago. We start small and grow big. You have to give them a very good meat water. They are your investment. So you won't you, 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 you want to gamble with them. You gamble, hmm, they are going away. So the moment they consume well, the conversion ratio will be very high. But security is very, very important in a farming aspect. Like bed flu. If it happens, if bed flu enter any farm, just forget about it. There's no vaccination. That will be campaign after election. My name is Olushela Jonathan, I'm a rabbit farmer. Actually, we have 50 plus, but the common one here in our environment, we have Dutch, we have Magpie, Ali Queen, New Zealand, California. Kali, Kali, how are you doing? So yes, this is the cage, and this one this is a california rabbit california then this one is Ayla Ayla ng and this is palomino this is aliquin then this one is agoti she's pregnant already Gestation period just started this. So I'm expecting this one now to deliver because I have a record for them. So I'm expecting her to deliver by eight. I crossed last month eight. So by eight of this month, I'm expecting. So in the next few days now. And this is what we call Dutch. Dutch from Zion Glory Farm. And this is another Ayla, Ayla NG. And this is Ayla Max. Come on. This is American Cebu. American Cebu. This is Cinnamon. Cinnamon. This is American Chinchilla. This is Potted. English spotted, and this is another cinnamon. All of them are nothing though. I would advise a beginner to start with any breed. So far, the person has the passion for it and he can manage it well. We have different type of housing. As you can see, we have galvanized, we have the wooden cage, and there's another system we call free range. Like situation, you can just allow them to be roaming around, but we need limited environment so a beginner can start I, I always advise a beginner to start with wooden cage because of the cost implication rabbits they don't always show symptoms of sickness so people don't really believe that they fall sick but the moment you study them you know when they are not taking their when they lose appetite that means something is wrong but basically like you can see all these winners now. The major thing that will affect them is bloat. The moment you win them, then you have to study them well. So that you manage what they eat to avoid bloat. Then there's another sickness we call snuffle. You'll be seeing them. <coughs> They'll be snuffle like normal human being. <laughs> That's snuffle that I said. So, but mostly, it's caused by a respiratory issue, so you just have to, I, I will give the animal drug, so 
I think aside that, but in norms, you won't wait till they fall sick. So you just have to be giving them once in a while antibiotic. Like today now, they took multivitamin, multivites inside their water. So they will take it for like three days, all of them. So like you break it with water, like two days. Then after like another two days, you can give them antibiotic all through for like three or five days. Then you can rest the next month again before giving them. We have different type. So I mix 30 ml of this to 25 liters water just to increase the appetite. So the moment they consume well, the conversion ratio will be very high. Then you get the better result from them. Now we are moving to rabbit meat era. So we need something very big that in the next four months, all those winners, they will be big enough to slaughter. But you just have to be giving them something that will make them eat more. Then they will convert it. But security is very, very important in the farming aspect, especially livestock. It's very, very important because there is nothing. If it happens, it happens. Like bird flu. If it happens, if, if bird flu enter any farm, just forget about it. There is no vaccination. That will be campaign after election. So, <laughs> but on the norms, you just have to keep your biosecurity tight. You have to get some disinfectants. Then you mix it. Anybody that don't allow you to spray, then you should go back because it's not ready to pay you if you have any loss. They are in three categories. We have winners, grower, and matured. Then the winners start from week four to let's say week seven. So the moment you win them, whatever you give them, they will eat and they will eat finish. So in that process, you have to control because at the, on the, uh, at the long run, if they continue eating, then they will surely have stomach disorder. So we call it bloat. So then the intestine will expand, then the gas will set in. So I'll just advise the beginner that the moment you have passion for it, then come in. You start small and grow big. Because rabbit is one of the animals that can multiply within a very short period of time. Like I have someone, I have this one nursing, six no five this one nursing five this one nursing five there's another one there nursing five and all of them they deliver within 28 31st of last month so imagine by this month end they now will be winning them so definitely i'm adding up to like 30 animals to the farm the major thing that make a farm is the feed. You know their natural feed is greens. Greens, I mean grass. Like if, if you can see the, if you can see it now, you see traces of greens down there. So that's bitter leaf. That was what I served them in the morning before giving them pellets. So you give them pellets, but you won't eradicate that greens. So you give them pellets in the morning, late in the night, you give them greens. So two times in a day is, is okay. It's, it's the best to get a better result from them. You can decide to be giving them water and not, to, and not give them feed. Even if like this time, this kind of weather, they consume less water. But there's, we are moving towards that dry season that you have to come back in the afternoon to give them another water. The feeding bowl and the watering bowl. Feeding bowl and the watering bowl. So water is, is good and you, you have to give them a very good, neat water. They can't talk. And you can even if you buy a pure water and look at it and you see something strange, you drop it. So likewise then. And moreover, they are your investment. So you, are, you, 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 you won't want to gamble with them. Uh -huh. You gamble, hmm, you are gone. So. <laughs>